back and now for stories across Africa. A total of 723 new COVID-19 cases were reported in Kenya on Friday, raising the national tally to 20,636 as preparations to resume international flights on Saturday went into top gear. Muthai Kagwe, the Cabinet Secretary for Health, said 700 Kenyans and 23 foreigners were confirmed positive to the disease after 8,679 samples were tested in the last 24 hours, bringing cumulative tests to 303,979. Dr. David Nyekora uh, Masanga, the Chairman of Pan-African Forum and also Chairman Punchline Africa TV, um, is now joining us. Thank you very much for joining us, Doctor. Thank you very much, uh, Plus TV Africa, for inviting me to this show. It's a great uh, a day for me to join Africa in another corner from another angle of the East. It's a pleasure to have you. Kenya, like the rest of the world, is not left out on the harsh realities of COVID-19. What is the current situation as of today in Kenya regarding the figures and, of course, handling of COVID-19? First of all, Kenya has handled the COVID-19. The government has given out guidelines. They have handled the COVID-19 with great, 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 and we need to give them uh, an approach here because the Kenyan government has, first of all, took measures. You are aware that the COVID-19 came to as a surprise from many people because of the misinformation that came from the World Health Organization. Remember, the World Health Organization did not tell us exactly what we should do in the first place, what can be done as deterrent factors so that it can, this disease could have found Africa well prepared. But Kenya has tremendously tried its level best, given that it is surrounded first south in Tanzania. They don't, they don't believe that that COVID-19 exists. Across in Uganda, yes, they also have punitive measures, but Kenya has put its own house in order. It has put guidelines. It has put a lot of, you know, emphasis on washing hands, keeping distance, social distance, wearing masks, stay at home. You know, if not necessary to come to town, don't come to town. No public rallies. No churches. Churches were opened recently with a limited number. Hotels were opened with limited uh, regulations, protocols. SOPs are here working in Kenya. What would you say has been the, the success story for these interventions you know, that your government has put in place? Um, they're basically forced strategies. So what would you say has been the, you know, the success rating for these interventions? Recoveries. The, the, the rate of recovery in Kenya is very interesting. If you watch the pattern, anybody who has done what we call a sampling as a study, you will know that the rate of recovery is about 9,000 so far in Kenya compared to some other countries where you don't even measure the rate of recovery and the, the rate of infection. But the Kenyan too, what, what has given encouragement in Kenya, uh, the number of people who have perished, the number of people who have perished, may their souls rest in peace, is not so huge. Yeah. And then the measures that the government has, you know, put in place, we, it came, as you know, the whole Africa, the whole Africa, whether Nigeria, whether I, which country, whether South, we were not given ample time. We were not given enough warning. How, how we were not the, told. Doc, yeah. how about the, the impact on Kenya's economy? Because this has affected economies around the world. So how, how would you say this has you know, also affected Kenya's economy? Has it been really bad or is it oh, stable? Yes, the, the, the economy of Kenya has been, of course, every economy in the world will be affected. But the Kenyan economy has been affected, yes. To some extent, they cannot export food and the flowers. You know Kenya is a flower-growing country that exports a lot. The tourism. Kenya has the highest, the biggest honor for Kenya is tourism. The tourists cannot come in. You know this is our month. This is the, the month of Kenya for, for tourists to come in to see 
the wild animals crossing over from Tanzania into Kenya. With, with the hotel industry has been hit. The, 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 the travel industry has been hit. Importation industry, production has been hit. But we have remained stable. The Kenyan economy still balances, floats within the, 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 the perimeters of the, the international global economic situation. So okay. it has affected exports. Flowers cannot go daily. People cannot move. Yeah. Uh, imports cannot come in. Imports are coming, but limited. And, what do you do with more, the goods? And what more would you say can be done? Um, what suggestions would you also proffer you know, at, at a time like this? Discipline. And I'm just telling my Nigerian friends, discipline. Let's have discipline. One of the problems that we Africans have, all of us on the continent, we are doubting Thomases. We wait to see dead bodies. Then we run to say, yes, something is wrong. The entire African continent needs to be disciplined. Wash our hands. Keep a distance. Wear masks where the government has said, wear masks. Wear masks. This disease is invisible. We need to inculcate discipline amongst the populations of Africa and especially in Kenya. What has killed most of the people, the government in Kenya has put a lot of good guidelines. But the people drink, try to drink after curfew. They go for drinking, drinking spree. They close their estates, start drinking. That should stop. Elsewhere okay. in Nigeria, meetings and everywhere, even in Kenya, Nigeria, Uganda, the Ugandan government has been strict. They, 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 if they say don't come out, don't come out. So we need to inculcate this play. All right, sir. Education, civic education is very important. Stigmatization is one of the things that is killing Africa. Again, when you, 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 you get cured from this disease or you have been pos positive, and okay. then you come out, you can't you want to go back to the community. The community look at you as... A, a, a witch, or they stigmatize you. So these are some of the habits the civil society, All right, NGOs, sir. has come up to educate people. Okay, um, Dr. David Masanga, thank you so much for the conversation. Do remember to stay safe, and we look forward to speaking with you again all the way from Kenya. All the time, Pan-Africanism stay safe in Nigeria. You too, sir. Let people wash their hands. Let people keep a distance. Listen to the government regulations. In Kenya, Nigeria, we are the biggest economies of this continent. I watch, I wish you well. Thank you. you too, God sir. bless you.